making and installing diversity enhancers. The students have made three types of diversity enhancers for this lesson. We're covering the intertidal by making a fake rock pool that would be bolted to a jetty, to a wall for example, and add that water retention rock pool that will add habitat for organisms and fauna and flora that want to stay in a rock pool, want that moisture, increased humidity. The second unit they've made are habitat discs, we're calling them, and they're threaded on a rope or a stainless cable, and they're hung from a jetty to enhance the habitat between pilings, for example. Or they can actually be used um, floating above a reef to add mid-water habitat. So they're discs of various shapes and configurations with holes and ridges and, and uh, pinnacles. Um, and they're stacked on top of each other in order to create habitat for food and protective space for, for fish, crabs, shrimp, blennies, etc. And then the third one they've made are what we call oyster triangles. And they're a unit that slots together. It's an ideal unit, weighs about 14, 15 kilos per triangle. The triangles are slotted together so you get about a 30 kilogram reef unit and they're great for enhancing intertidal areas where you've got oysters growing because they offer lots of different peaks and lots of different surfaces, lots of different slope surfaces. Slope surfaces is really important because that sheds sediment. Because if you have a flat surface um, and too much sediment lands on it, it's going to smother what's growing on it and so you'll tend to have a very barren surface. So we want angled surfaces. And then the oyster triangles are great for just general bottom habitat because you can configure them in a range of different ways to create lots of protective space, lots of little caves, lots of little swim throughs. And again, you've got the little pinnacles that fish love to school around. And you can actually pile them on top of each other to create quite a complex reef. So once the students finish making them, we brought them to here to Talabajara Creek and we're just putting them in and actually removing them at the end of the day. So the first step was to go, go through um, how to use the different equipment and how to use the air drills and the pneumatic um, impact drench. And then we put the units in the water. So first we assembled the oyster triangles in the water in an area, grouped them together in a suitable configuration. Then we added the, um, the habitat discs diversity enhancers which in this case were hanging off the bottom by a float and then we used um, wooden sleepers to simulate a wooden jetty and what the students did was hold the sleeper at either end and then we had one student drilling four holes to install the fake rock pools so they used two holes for each rock pool and then they used 16 millimeter bolts that went through either side of the rock pool to bolt it to the wood beam. Yeah, and the students have had a great time and they all did really well. They really got stuck in there, not only in just making them, they're really enthusiastic about, about making these diversity enhancers and getting their hands dirty with gloves on, hands dirty in the concrete. And they came up with a range of different designs of enhancers. They really started to think about protective space. Um, they really started to understand that concept and how to create protective space between different areas. In your, in your concrete reef unit and getting that rough textured surface. And then on the installation part, they all had a great time drilling holes through the wooden beams, getting used to all the bubbles that tends to uh, ruin your visibility. So you had to get up close and do a lot of it by feel. There was a lot of teamwork involved because you had about five team members. You've got one drilling, you've got one holding the scuba tank, you've got one holding the, the tool bag and then you've got two holding the wooden sleeper. So it was a real team effort. 